Hey everybody, it's Friday night and we're back. I know, I know, we missed last week and I'm sorry to let all my fans down, but we're back hiding in the basement from the wife and kids. I got a great friend of mine. She is an actress, she is a stunt woman, she is a foot model, go figure, all right? And she is newly single. She's looking for a man, people. Guys, <gasps> run! Karen Carbone, here she is on the show. <laughs> and Karen, Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me on the teeny can. I'm ah, very glad to Anita, be here. Kiss and a hug. Thank you very can, can much. I have another one? I'm yes. newly, newly single. <laughs> what? We're doing the man, the new man teeny tonight. And here they are, the new man teeny. So here you go. Me and you, Karen, drinking to, to a new, new man. man. New man. Who are you looking for? What are you looking for in a new man? Fill me in. Well, you know, uh, four, lim four limbs and a head is always a good place to start. A having a head is always good. You know, single. Single. Can't can't do that. I'm not breaking up anyone's marriage. No, none of the married stuff. You know? Married dudes. Forget about it. Yes. Home wreckers. Bad, 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 bad. I think my first qualification is just, uh, yep, yeah, single. Okay. Male. And Male, single. Pulse? A pulse? Yeah, pulse. Pulse is good. You're looking for um, a GED, maybe? A GED? No addictions. Please, been there, done that. Not fun. Um, basically, somebody that, uh, you know, Matt Ribb's mom would approve of. So. Yes, we need Matt happen. Ribb's mom if you're out there. Karen's looking for a new man. If you know any, send them our way. I, she approves the Apple Teeny. <laughs> because if she doesn't approve the Apple Teeny, it's no good. You're single? You looking? This week in the world of entertainment, the trifecta. The trifecta. Not good. Mm -mm. Not good at all. Very sad. Uh, we lost uh, three people this week um, who had a great and profound effect on our culture, our pop culture in this country. Uh, first of all, uh, Ed McMahon. You're correct, sir. You are correct, sir. Ed McMahon. Farrah Fawcett. If you didn't have, you were a young kid and you didn't have her in the red bikini on your wall. Right, David. Are you doing her in, on David Letterman? <laughs> what was that? I, that ain't no. All right, wait. She, she just passed away, Karen. Come on. Sorry. All right. Okay. Let's do a Charlie's Angels pose. There it is. We did it. We pulled it off. Michael Jackson, the king of pop. Big MJ. Big mystery surrounding it too. They're towing cars away. The cops. They're talking drugs. It's all. Nobody knows what's going on. What happened to the monkey? I'm a big animal lover. What happened to the I'm monkey? I'm pretty sure the SPCA or somebody came, or animal control came and took care of the monkey. I'm sure the monkey is safe. Thriller! <laughs> thriller Right? I wore one glove for like two years. And put Jerry Curl in my hair, just because of Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. So he, he will be missed. He will be missed. We all know about the other stuff Michael Jackson did. Do we really want to talk about that? No, we that? don't want to go there. No, no we'll, just, All right. we'll just sip in silence and sip cheers silence. to the Ready? sadness of the trifecta. What did you bring for me? I brought you a headshot for the Wall of Fame. That's right, you're going on the Wall of Fame. Yes. Yeah, shame? Going, fame. There's no shame fame. up there. Oh, did I say shame? I meant fame. Fame, people, fame. fame. Okay, yes, I brought you one of my lovely headshots, there, which so I have, uh, you know, autographed for you because I am just here. Wook and Penub with the Apple Teenies. So, uh, Very nice. Stick this up on your wall here. Go ahead, put it up there. All you single guys out there, there she is, right there. Ooh, ooh. Of course, every week we have a top 10. And this week's top 10 is. My top 10 reasons why I, Karen Carbone, am in need of a new man. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Can I do the numbers? Please, please, All please. Right. Number 10. C. Thomas Howell, 25 years ago, I sent you the biggest birthday card I could find because your pony boy character just stole my heart and you still haven't written me back. Forget about it! You bastard. Hey, baby, what's your sign? Nine. The braider. You know, you would think that after 10 years together with somebody, I could figure out that he does hair for a living. Hello? He's never going to marry you. He did hair. Are you a Leo? Hey! Mr. Stripes. Now ladies, if a guy ever tells you in casual conversation that, well, you know, I did this and that and the other, you know, after I got out, he is <coughs> not Whoa. talking about getting out of the closet. He's talking about prison. Run! Dude was in jail? Is that what you said? Seven. Old, creepy, e-harmony guy. E-harmony, nice concept, but you can't pick who you want to be set up with. They set you up with people. They set me up with my neighbor. 
my old divorce. Your next door? Single, next door, I swear to you, Get my out. next door neighbor, a pervert. He had a boob mirror. He would walk around on a Halloween <laughs> with the big cardboard thing with different sized holes to get chicks to put their boobs in it. I better hide my boob meter. You need to stop doing that like online dating thing. Six. The farrier. Did you say farrier? Did hair he have a high pitched on... voice too? And... Yeah, his voice was higher than mine. His hair was longer than mine. Did and... he date the braider? Maybe. It's a possibility. Next episode, maybe you could um, do a love connection. All right. Five, five, five. Number five. Oh. Your job is to say the numbers. I already did it. Go. Oh, number five. Okay, all the city paper ad guys took an ad out in the city paper. All that was interested in me was Jewish lawyers, which would be great if they wanted to be my agents, but my boyfriends, not so much. We just don't connect because, you know, I'm not really the Jewish lawyer type. You don't like matzo balls. Moving on. I got two of them, so they're called Elvi. Of course. Four. The dude. The dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shaka bra! What's happening? Don't ever date anybody you meet at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Three. Number three would be the cowboy. That yummy, yummy Texan I met on a What Happened in Vegas Stays in Vegas weekend. As things were, you know, progressing, so to speak, he got a handful of my hair, of my hair, and it came off in the midst of... Some guys would find that attractive. No, it freaked him out, and he ran out of the room screaming with my extension in his hair. And Did well, you get it back? It Cowboy point. dude, it's just hair, fake, you know, you still could have got a little bit. Too bad for you. Don't look back, you You're missed out. out. Two! Two! Crazy Match.com guy. You know, these dating places are a lot of crazy people. Now, now, some people, when you meet for the first time, you know, you get a handshake, you might get a kiss, uh, you, you know might what? get a hug. I was so thinking you were going to say hand job. Uh, what? I was like, oh my God, you did not. You <laughs> no, were no, 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 no. Well, I mean, I Woo! have that. Yes. Sushi. But, yeah. Sushi. Wow. Woo. But this guy, Crazy Match.com guy, no, he bit me. You better. I kid you. I, I, I kid really? you. I, I mean, look, can you can you see this? Do you see this? Brett. You don't bite people. Don't bite Cameron Carbone. Not unless they give you permission, and then you yeah, bite no, away. It, you know what? You know they teach you that stuff in preschool, man. You bite somebody, whack, you get slapped upside your head. Don't bite people, people. That ain't right. I don't get it either. One. Number one reason why I'm looking for a new man is because married, married, married. Girl, hot, but you know, don't go that way. If he wasn't married, I would be the next Mrs. Jiggins. Ask him. Naked and married. Married. Way married. Matt, well, he's a stick figure and I'm way too old for him. Way too old for Matt. Wow, Matt's mom's not gonna approve of that. No, well, no. Well, you know, Matt's mom, you know, if you can get Matt up, I think Matt's a great guy. Matt and I would work well together. I think so. He would just look like my son. Get a new headshot in here, Rim, will you? And so if those aren't 10 good enough reasons, I could bring up a bunch of others, but that would make you look more desperate, which I'm not. You're not desperate. I'm not. Not no. at all. No. You got more of this stuff? Uh, yeah. Tonight you have a date. She has a date, folks, tonight. And how did that get set up? This it was an online blind date. Karen Carbone! <laughs> Knock it off, Karen Carbone. An online, but... Yeah, yeah, I'm giving the match.com. He's an actor. So that's either going to be really good or it's perfect or really, really bad. bad. <laughs> you know what they say, don't actors don't date actors because it never really works. Yeah, no, it does. Too much drama. Where's this date taking place? Um, somewhere in a beautiful downtown Annapolis. A romantic spot, if you ask me. Yeah. Karen might get lucky tonight. What? Any tips for me on, on what I should do for a first date to make it go well? This is what you need to do. You go out, you have a good time. If you like the guy, you keep him around. If he bites you, you kick him in his ass. You order an apple teeny because you like apple teenies. But if he doesn't like the apple teeny, then you got an issue. The apple teeny meter. If God. the guy is secure enough in his own masculinity that he'll drink an apple teeny, I think you got somebody on your hands that you can work with. That's true. And if he does hair or horses, run. run. Here's to your date. We need to wrap this show up, but next week, Tom Selleck is going to be on the show, people! Ex-boyfriend. I love that shirt. You think that would make a bad impression? Not at all. I think you should wear that on okay. your date. Good. <laughs> you should wear that shirt on your date. Enjoy your new man teenies this weekend, and... Hopefully, I'll be enjoying a new man this weekend. It's a little more information than I need to know, but hey, everybody out there, have a good weekend. See ya!